water scheme. In that, we can study what is the necessity of water supply scheme, then uh, data collection of water supply scheme, then uh, importance feature of water supply scheme, then step involved in water supply scheme, then uh, design period. So design period of uh, design period of structure, then general layout of the water supply scheme, then component part of the water supply scheme, then which point should be considered for uh, select the design period or a point should be considered for design the water intake structure, then different types of water intake structure. This part will be covered in last lecture. So in this lecture, we can study the convenience or convenience of water. So convenience of water, water is conveyed through the either open channel or through its closed pipelines. So clothes pipeline are mostly prefer as a water treatment plant. So clothes pipeline are mostly prefer as a loss or losses are less than less chances for contamination. Then water can be conveyed with or without gravity. So in next. Slide. We can study types of pipes use for water supply scheme. The following pipes are used for water supply scheme. First cast iron pipe, then broad iron pipe, then steel pipe, then galvanized iron pipe, then cement concrete pipes, then asbestos cement pipe, then plastic pipes, then lead pipe, then copper pipe, then wood wooden pipe. So first cast iron pipes. The cast iron pipe are manufactured from big iron by casting, uh, in short, molding. This pipe can resist corrosion, can withstand high internal pressure, but these are very heavy and difficult to transport. The pipe are brittle in nature and may from cracks if handled carelessly. These are suitable for convenience where the internal pressure very high. So this is a picture or diagram of the cast iron pipe. Then second, wrought iron pipe. So wrought iron pipe is the same, nearly same uh, for cast iron pipe. So the wrought iron pipe can be easily cut and threaded. These are costly and not much be not much durable. These pipe are affected by corrosion and hence these are generally used in inside the building. This pipe may be recommended for main pipeline if these are galvanized by zinc. So this is a picture diagram of the rot and pipe. Then next pipe is a steel pipe. The steel pipe are light and strong to withstand high internal pressure. They can be easily transported, but they cannot be withstand external pressure. These pipe are not suitable for distribution system in water supply scheme. These pipe are jointed by welding or riveting. So this is a picture image of the steel pipe then galvanized iron pipe. So galvanized iron pipe are manufactured by galvanizing iron pipe. These pipe are economical. Then uh, these pipe are light and easy to handle and transport. They can be easily cut and threaded. This pipe can be easily joined by sockets, but these pipe are liable to be affected by acidic or alkaline water. These pipes are suitable for service connection. Then a cement concrete pipe. So the precast cement concrete pipe are manufactured in rolling mill and then transported to the site as per requirement. The pipe may be made of plain concrete, reinforcement cement concrete or pre-structured cement concrete. The plain concrete pipe are used for carrying the water at place where there is no internal pressure. The reinforced cement concrete pipe are manufactured by reinforcing with steel bar and casting the concrete in framework. This pipe can withstand with high internal pressure. Nowadays, a very high pressure, the pre pressed cement concrete pipe are used. The concrete pipe are very heavy and thus very difficult very difficult to handle the transport. So this is a picture image of the 
cement concrete pipe so the next pipe is a asbestos cement pipe so asbestos cement pipe are manufactured from mixture of cement and asbestos fiber this pipe are light can be transported easily but these are very brittle and liable to broken if handled carefully the cutting drilling and jointing etc can be done easily with this pipe these are smooth and so carrying capacity is good these pipe are not affected by salt acid and any corrosive agent but these are not intended for high internal pressure so these pipe are suitable for distribution system where internal pressure is low so so this is a picture diagram of asbestos cement pipe then next pipe is a plastic pipe so plastic pipe uh, is a uh, at present the plastic pipe are very commonly used for any water supply scheme they are resistance to corrosion light in weight and economical these pipe are available in different form first low density polyethylene pipe then high density polyethylene pipe and rigid pvc pvc means a polyvinyl chloride pipe among the there are among the three types the rigid pvc pipe are most favorite in water supply scheme these are resistance to acid acid alkaline and salt these pipe are safe for carrying portable water these pipe are strong and can withstand high pressure for a smaller wall thickness so this is the picture image of a plastic pipe then uh, next pipe is your lead pipe so lead pipe are not adopted for any convenience of the drinking water because it may be causes lead poisoning these pipe are generally used in sanitary fitting of water treatment plant sometimes these are used in a chemical industry these are very light and can be easily bent or cut so this is a picture image of the lead pipe then next is a copper pipe so these pipe are very costly and are not used for a condition conditionary work these are not affected by corrosion can resist acidic action so these pipe are generally used in a chemical industries and for making gone snake in housing plumbing sometimes these are used in hot water supply line so this is a picture image of the copper pipe then a uh, wood pipe this is a <coughs> outdated method or uh, th uh, these pipe are not uh, not in use for uh, any water supply scheme in nowadays so this is a picture image of the wooden pipe then uh, our next part is a types of joint in pipe so types of joint in that we can see cement collar joint then simplex joint then bell and spigoid joint then flange joint from above two types are used for cement pipe while remaining the cast iron pipe in short the pipe are manufactured in small length varying from 2 to 5 meter but at the time of laying the pipe are jointed together to make the continuous the selection of the pipe types of joint depend on the pipe material then internal pressure then site condition for example we can choose the cast iron or what pipe the bell and spigot joint are required then uh, we can uh, we can use the steel pipe then bell and rivet joint should be prepared then we can use the rcc pipe then a collar joint should be prepared for temporary work flange and threaded joint are used uh, for uh, uh, in case of a uh, temperature variation in a selected zone then expansion joint should be considered for place where settlement of the suspect the flexible joint should be considered so this is a uh, different types of joint you can use in water supply scheme so first joint this is a picture image of the cement collar joint so in cement collar joint we can use the this is the image the cement motor we can use then hem hem then rcc collar then rcc pipe we can use so next image is the simplex joint this is the simplex type of the joint this is the picture image of the simplex joint then third bell and socket or spigoid joint so this is the important parameter for spigoid joint the plain end of the pipe is known as spigoid end and the extended end is known as a bell end the yarn or of hemp is wound round the spigoid 
in the end and a rubber gasket is placed tightly over the yarn the spigoid end is now inserted into the bell end in such way that it properly set in position so this is a picture image of the, your spigoid joint this is the 3d view of the spigoid joint then uh, next joint is the expansion joint so the expansion joint is recommended for place where the elongation or the shortening of the pipe may happen due to change of atmospheric temperature here the bell end is a projector vertically to some extent for coupling with the flange ring by nuts and bolt before starting the joint the flange ring and rubber ga gasket is placed position on the spigoid end then the spigoid end is inserted into the bell end and head is positioned by checking the level then the rubber gasket is a press tightly between the annual space by means the nuts and bolt to make the joint water tight as shown in figure so this is a diagram of the expansion joint so this is a pictorial view of the expansion joint then next is a flange joint so this type of joint is recommended for temporary temporary work where the pipeline may be dismantled after the work or it may be shifted for this joint the end of the pipe should be provided with wide flange with a servile hole for nuts and bolt. While joining the pipe, a rubber gasket is inserted between the flange and the nuts are tightly to make the joint watertight. As shown in figure, this is a picture limit of the flange joint. This is a 3D view of the flange joint. Then uh, next part is a type of wall. So type of wall is an important parameter for water supply scheme. This part will be continued in next lecture. Thank you.